and welcome back to the Coach's Perspective. But we're gonna go save the best for last. My favorite guy, maybe I maybe I'm a little bit uh, I'm a little bit of a homer since I went to Ramona, but we're joined by the head football coach at the Ramona High School, Ken Mashinsky. How you doing, Ken? Great, great, Jeff. Thanks for having me on. It's good to uh, get to get this thing you know started, kicked off. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, is this your fourth or fifth year now? Fifth year? This is my fifth year here at Ramona, yeah. Well, Coach. Yep. Pretty excited. I'll tell you what, in those five, those four plus years so far, I'll tell you what, the trajectory of Ramona High School football has been on the rise even after, you know, uh, failing to win a CIF championship uh, just a season and a half ago. It still seems to be on the trajectory of going upwards and the buy-in from all of your players and just watching you guys grow over the last four plus years has been amazing. And I think I really attribute that to you, uh, your staff, uh, the administration. What's going on over there, Ramona, that makes it so positive right now? Well, first off, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, we, we waited all of 15 seconds for you to uh, talk about the uh, almost almost CIF championship. That never happened. Uh, no, Ramona is great. Uh, you know, I mean, we all everybody here kind of kind of jokes and says it's the uh, the hidden gem of Riverside. And and I've been to a couple schools in Riverside North and, and, and King where I started my career. Um, and they're all fantastic schools. I really do think Riverside Unified uh, as a school district as a whole is is a fabulous school district. But uh, Ramona, for some reason, uh, it is a little hidden gem. Uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't seem like much from the outside of campus. But when you walk on to Ramona's campus, um, it is beautiful. And the people, whoever, whoever did, you know, all the concrete work and the trees and stuff like that, uh, it's just a home away from home. And, and fortunately, um, within the football program, we've, uh, you know, we've been able to build it since, since day one. And we've consistently made it into the, into the CIF playoffs. And, uh, and hopefully we do the same thing this year. Um, we have a, you know, good group of kids coming back. Um, it's it's definitely going to be a funky year, I think, for everybody. But we are really looking forward to uh, to getting this thing started and 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 uh, you know hopefully getting back to where we left off. Well, coach, you know last year it was a shortened season, but we you know we were able to cover you guys a couple times. And I, my partner Gazal Hassan and I were talking earlier this week um, about Ramona, and we said the same thing: players in your uh, program play hard. Is it something that you brought over from your, your stints at other schools, or is it just the, the, the student body, the kind of kids you guys have at Ramona High School? I think it's a combination of both. Um, you know, this is a, a hardworking society here at Ramona. Uh, they have hardworking families. Um, and we, we, as a coaching staff, we demand to, uh, we demand that, that hard work and that, that hard work ethic um, and kind of tough nose style. Um, it suits us fine, uh, even though we are a spread offense and, uh, you know, that's a little finicky. Um, our kids bust it, and, uh, and that's kind of led to our success in the past is just their hard work. And, uh, you know, I say, I say our kids are going to we'll, – they'll run through a wall for us. And when we get that uh, mixed in with a little bit of talent, um, good things happen. And that's, that's kind of how it's been, and we're going we're gonna to try to keep this train going in that, in that right direction. Now, Coach, let's talk a little bit about this year's team. We had a little bit of a, t uh, a taste of, uh, in the spring, I should say, of last year. But tell us a little bit about, let's talk about the offense first uh, for the Ramona Rams and some, some key players that you have. So we're uh, both offensively and defensively. I, I don't want to say that we're young, um, but, but the, the word inexperienced has been used a lot. Um, and I think a lot of teams are going to say that because of what we went through. Uh, offensively, you know, we're real fortunate to uh, to return Amari Wiley. Uh, his dad is a is an alum of uh, of, of Ramona as well, Booby Wiley. He's a, he's our one of our offensive line coaches. But uh, Amari anchors our our offensive line at that left tackle position. Um, he just keeps getting better and better, and and he, he has very good size. Um, and we're real fortunate to have Bo Bruins, uh, junior running back, returning. Uh, last year as a sophomore, he, uh, he really showcased himself and, uh, and did a great job. Um, he is the epitome of, of what we as a coach wants. He is super tough. He has great speed. Uh, not the biggest guy, but uh, again, he will run through a wall for you. Um, and then we, we returned Zach Steiner as our, uh, 
Probably our number one weapon um, in terms of in terms of wide receivers. His his mother, of course, is Laura Shiner, the uh, the All American standout softball player and uh, and head coach of our softball team here at Ramona, and she's also an alum. Um, so it's great you can you know you can see uh, just those three players, and and those are just three I'm thinking off the top of my head. Um, every one of their parents went to Ramona. Bo Bruins, parent, you know, his dad and mom went here. Uh, Laura Shiner and and uh, Amari Wiley, Booby Wiley's dad. Uh, it's so it is a family affair here, and, and it's kind of funny, you know. I, I feature those three guys, and uh, and they're all remote, all their parents are Ramona alumni. So um, we're going to be a really good balance team this year. We have uh, we have some pretty good size up front. Again, they're they're pretty young, but but we're we're going to look real good <laughs> coming out of the gate. And uh, we have a few new receivers, uh, Jordan Daniels. Um, Jake Velasquez and then uh, uh, Manny Villa, who's coming back. So we have four four capable guys um, to uh, to catch the ball and 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 a good uh, a good running back in Bo Bruins with a, a pretty stout offensive line. Well, I'll tell you what, with with Shiner and Bruins, both of those were out, they were outstanding in that shortened season. Uh, the mom Laura Shiner is probably the toughest woman. I've ever met in my life. I love her dearly. Her husband, you know, he was a baseball player. I think he was a Nordic Vista baseball player at one time. He's a baseball wrestler guy. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah great family, great people. Um, you yeah. know, talking about Ramona alumni, you know, my family goes back. My mom graduated from Ramona. My brother and I graduated from Ramona. Uh, it's, it, it really is. It, people tend to go back to the area that they grew up in. That's a great place. Uh, let's talk about your defense, though. I want to say this. There was a team I had seen – in the last few years that tackles quite like you guys do. You guys are a great tackling team, and those are fundamental things that you, you teach as a coach, but your toughness of your guys. Talk about your defense now. Yeah, so our defense, uh, they fly around the ball a lot, and, and we do work on tackling a lot. Um, I think a lot of people, it's just kind of innate in them that they are they are you know real good tacklers, um, but I think that you could make good tacklers great tacklers, and and we do spend a lot of time on that, just with fundamental stuff. You know, not killing each other, but definitely working on the little things like finishing. Um, so our defensive line uh, is going to be a couple guys coming back, a uh, couple juniors on the outside, and a, a senior plugging up the middle, Marcus Perez. Um, our back, our our linebacking core is is probably our question mark there. Um, again, Zach Shiner uh, has been playing middle linebacker. Uh, Michael Martinez and Joseph Martinez are back there. Um, so that group right there is, is where the inexperience is. Um, fortunately, we do have experience up front, and the guys behind them, uh, Joseph Soto and Nicky Chavez, both started last year for us at corner. And then uh, we'll probably have Bo Bruins and Christian Martinez back there at safety. So. Um, if we could shore up that middle, that that linebacker core, and and they did a great job on Friday night at the scrimmage, so so we are we are seeing positive things there, but we have to keep on them and we have to just keep growing. Um, and fortunately, you know that's that's kind of one of the things that we do is we keep saying, you know, hey, every day you have to get better. We can't ever take a step back, and and we have been consistently. So um, I am super excited about Thursday night, you know, versus Corona, just because I want to see. You know where we're at. We have fans coming back. Um, you know we have all this family, um, and you know I'm super excited. My son is my son's probably going is going to be our starting quarterback. So uh, it's just I'm I'm all smiles. It's great. It's I'm ready to go. Did you say your son? Yeah, my son. My son is uh, we. I tried to make him a wide receiver because I played quarterback and I know you know I know what it's like. And, uh, you know, to have your dad as the coach, it's probably even more, you know, I, well, I know it's tougher because I know how much I yell. So, uh, yeah, so he said he wanted to play quarterback. He's doing, he's just been doing a bang up job. He is, uh, you know, he's really learning the position and he's working extremely hard in the weight room. Uh, most important though, he's, he's really becoming a leader on the field and that as a dad, as a coach, that's, you know, you can't ask for anything more than that. So, yeah, I'm excited about the, the beginning of this year. I'm, I'm really ready to get this thing going. Yeah, in fact, uh, John Rice's son is a junior playing for him at Poly. So, you know, I've, I've interviewed three coaches today. Two of them, their sons are playing for him. So that's, that's a great story. Um, one it other is. thing before we get into um, Thursday night's uh, Corona team, what are your thoughts on the way that the CIF is 
now going to uh, put teams in uh, different divisions at the end of the season. What are your thoughts on that? And maybe can you explain it a little bit to our, our studio audience? Or audience. I so um, I think it's a good idea. I think that uh, there's been a lot of people complaining about uh, the you know the way that it's been done in the past. So I think it's smart for CIF to go out and at least try something new. Um, if it you know if it fails, then it, then it then it fails, and we and we try something new. So I do give kudos to CIF for that. Uh, basically, there are no divisions yet. Um, you know, there's, let's just say that there's 500 teams in Southern section. I don't know the exact number, but 500 teams. Um, by the, at the end of the year, uh, CIF will rank based on probably, I'm guessing computer rankings, strength of schedule, win loss record. I think there's something else in there. They will rank the teams from one to 500. And if you land within that, I'm going to guess probably the top uh, 160 or top 200 teams, those teams will go to CIF and, and the playoffs. And the way that they will do it is if you're ranked number one to 16, you'll be in the top ranking or in the top division, you know, 17 to 34, or whatever it is in the next one. And they'll just keep going down the line. So you want to get in that, uh, that top, I uh, probably 200, 200 teams. I, I know for us, um, we have to take third place in our league. That's that's what it comes down to. Uh, that's always one of our goals. Um, so uh, I, I feel pretty comfortable that if we take third place in the River Valley League, that we will make we will make playoffs. So yeah, I think it's a good thing. Okay, coach. And also, uh, let's talk a little bit about your opponent on Thursday night, Ron Garinger, longtime coach, championship coach at San Gregorio, uh, big eight, bigger uh, big league. Corona High School. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, Corona? Yeah, uh, you know, we, we we scheduled up a little bit. Um, we got two big eight teams this year, Corona and King. Um, I didn't, you know, unfortunately we play them back to back because we play King next week and that, that's, a, that's a pretty tough test for us. Um, Corona's always a great team. You know, Coach Garinger over there does a good job. Uh, he always seems to have, you know, speed guys and size and, and this year's no different. Um, I know they're big up front, and uh, I know that they have some speed demons, uh, you know, in the back. Um, I don't know about their numbers. Their numbers are probably, you know, I've heard their numbers are a little down, too, just like ours. Uh, it's going to be a great game. It's going to be a great battle. Uh, the, the greatest thing is, you know, we we're, we get to come out here and play. Uh, we're all very excited about that. Um, you know, knock on wood, nothing happens um, in terms of uh, any of the teams getting coronavirus. It, it is it is happening, you know, to several teams that that they're having to cancel that first game, and hopefully we don't. And and you know, we don't want any of our kids to uh, to to get it anyway. So um, I'm looking for a, an excellent matchup with Corona. Um, it's two tough schools fighting it out. Uh, we both run very similar offenses and very similar defenses. So I, I'm looking for a shootout. I'm looking for a good game. Okay, coach. Here's a couple quick questions. You got to answer them as fast as you possibly can. Here we go. This is where I'm in trouble. Dairy Queen or Baskin Robbins? Uh, Dairy Queen. Star Wars or Star Trek? Neither. I'm not a sci-fi person. Isn't that crazy? I mean, honestly, okay, then let's go uh, Harry Potter or, or The have, Hobbit. I'd have, I'd have to go Star Wars if I was going Star Wars versus Star Trek. Okay, Harry Potter or Hobbit? Uh, Harry Potter. Okay, uh, uh, no. Crush you had on of a famous person when you were a kid. Your TV Courtney crush. Thorn, Courtney Thorne Smith. Courtney <laughs> Thorne Smith. Is that's your big crush? I'm gonna tell your wife uh, when I see her. Just to let she, you know. She knows. We we watch her and she's like, oh, there's Dad's crush. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not ashamed. That and Heather Locklear. Oh, I think I had a post Heather Locklear on my wall. Those are good ones. Okay, favorite book you've ever read. Ooh, Mind Gym. It's a book. Uh, I can't tell you who wrote it. I've read it about 10 times. It's about sports psychology, and uh, it just has a bunch of little short stories of, uh, of famous sport people and, and their trials and, and struggles with, uh, you know, just psychology, getting it right on the, on the field or on the court or wherever. Great book. Coach, that sounds too much for me. I, you know, I'm, I'm still in the reading new... Uh, 
newspapers, magazines, and my son's, uh, my five-year-old son's book. So someday I'll hopefully get around to that. Hey, Coach, awesome. thank you for joining us. You know, we're going to be covering you on Thursday night, 7 p.m. JRA Bar and myself will be there. Coach, good luck to the rest of the, the rest of the year, and it's always great seeing you. You are one of my all-time favorites. I'm going to be honest because you're a Ramona Ram, and i got to love Ramona. Give my best to your family. Give my best to your team, and we'll see you Thursday night. Excellent. Thanks, Jeff. It's great seeing you, man. Thank you for the interview. Appreciate you, it. You got it. He is head coach Ken Mashinsky of the Ramona Rams, and we will see him Thursday night on Riverside TV at 7 p.m. Thank you once again for another edition of The Coach's Perspective. We're happy to be back. We've got 20 high school games to cover this year and five college games all on Riverside TV. Good night, everybody.